We've covered our purse cake in fondant and we are now ready to decorate. Now decorating your purse cake, you can take just about any direction you want to. I'm a big fan of zebra stripes, so today I think we're gonna do some zebra stripes. For our stripes, which we're gonna do first, you're just gonna wanna add some stripes, just maybe to the sides of the cake. You can choose whatever color you want for stripes. Doesn't necessarily have to be black, um, but I am gonna use black for today. I'm just going to take a piece of uh, black fondant, which you can color or you can buy ready-made in black. And then I'm going to take some cornstarch and confection sugar. We're going to roll it out. Now this you want to roll out pretty thin because what we're going to do is cut some stripes to make it look like a zebra print. I think that's good enough. What you're going to do is you're going to take your pen knife. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out little shapes, um, squiggly lines that give the impression of zebra print. So I'm just gonna cut out a few of them. You could do just about anything you want. Some long, some short. It's up to you how you wanna get the impression on your cake. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is just pick up each piece individually. I'm gonna add just a little water. And that's gonna help to stick this to your cake. Now you can take any direction you'd like, slanted, up and down, it's up to you. I'm gonna do this slanted. So you're gonna just pick the spots that you wanna stick your black onto. And just a little water. You can just clean off any excess sugar with your fingers. You can basically put it any way you like. It's strictly up to you. All right, so there you have it. The makings of your zebra stripe purse cake. We've decorated this side and the next side and then what we're going to do is just add some further decorations and put on some handles.